All right, hey everybody, this is Coach Crazy 10. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color Part 5. In the last episode, we took down Ken, the Fire Club leader, and in this episode, we are going to make our way to the Grass Club. I'm also going to show you guys um, some strategies for building a deck. Um, we're going to have to just build over this deck because we can't delete it and have no decks. So uh, let me go ahead and remove everything from here and we'll uh, start from scratch. Oops. Um, so this is going to be mostly, pretty much mostly a fire deck and I'll probably do some normals. Um, it's it's going to be, yeah. So here, let me show you guys. First of all, energies are very important. Um, I always put as many double colorless energies as I possibly can and then I supplement with the rest of the energy and I always go with 23 energy cards. Um, it seems like a lot, but it's always a good balance for me. I never seem to run out of Pokemon, um, but I never seem to run out of energy cards either, so that works the best for me. Um, so we're going to look at some fire types. Now, Magmar is going to be... you're going to want Magmars. I'm going to put three Magmars in there. Uh, Arcanines are also excellent. Uh, I'm going to say go two, go three and three on these. Um, let's see, Charmeleon. Charmeleon's pretty good. The only, well, he's got decent health, but let's see what else we can put in here. We got a Moltres. It's not worth it. Um, this Flareon is interesting. Um, you can do this Rage, which is helpful when you have low health or a lot of damage. And since all the energies are colorless, you can use it your double colorless energy on it. The only problem is it's only got 60 HP, so it's not really worth it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple Ponytas in here as well. And I guess we might as well put some um, Charmeleon Charmanders in there. As for normal types, I'm going to... That's the trainer. Let's see. What kind of do I want? Um, Snorlax... I'm wondering, I don't think I want to use Snorlax. I think I'm going to use Lickitung as a good stall for now. Um, Meowth, not really worth using a Meowth. Okay, I don't know what I want to do for these last five. Mm, Vulpix is not really worth it. I can just put in another Growlithe and Arcanine. And another Magmar. And why not, we'll just, we'll just do that. Okay, that works. So there we go, there's our deck. It wasn't the greatest um, deck built, but that's okay. Uh, also notice that we have 24 Pokemon. Actually, I'm going to take I'm gonna take a couple things out of here and put some more trainers in, I think. Um, I tend to keep 23 Pokemon, 23 trainers, and or 23 energies, and like I guess it looks like 13 um, or 14 um, trainer cards. So... It's it's just whatever balance you want. This really works the best for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put these energy an energy removal in there. That's gonna be helpful. Let's see what else can I use. What else do I really want? There's really nothing else that's like necessary. Um, I'm gonna take out the Pokeball and put in the switch, and I'll do that. That should be fine for now. Okay. First thing to note is that I believe it's this girl. Um, do I have an Oddish? Okay. Yeah, this trade, um, it's not really necessarily worth it. You can get this card in a booster pack, but it's less common than an Oddish, so it's kind of worth the trade. Um, there is a, uh, a girl we need to fight here, Brittany. Um, she's, you have to defeat her to be able to challenge the gym leader, or the club leader. This girl sucks. She has a terrible, terrible deck. It's got like four or five types in it, and it just... There's there's no direction to this deck at all. Now watch me like really be terrible, but I don't think I will be. Um, this deck this deck is really easy. So let's hope that I, I get a good start, get a good starting Pokemon here. Let's see, Charmander. Ooh, got a couple here. All right, uh, I'm gonna put Charmander out, and we'll work on Growlithe uh, after we get Charmander working. So there we go. Four prizes, that's not that bad. Dang it. Hmm. Call oh wait, I thought you were gonna call for family. Uh 
Well, this is fun. Maybe I'm just gonna put fire energies on Growlithe and just use Charmander as fodder. Well, you know what? I have a potion. Why not? I'll just use it. And scratch. Yeah, now the problem is this Nidoran... Uh, yeah, this Nidoran female is not actually um, weak to fire. I think she's weak to psychic, so... It's kind of a... Um, it's kind of, a, kind of a handicap there, but I can just um, put another fire energy on it and it should be okay. I can use Ember. Yeah. It's a waste of a fire energy, but it does a lot more damage. It's worth it in the long run. Why are you putting a lightning energy on Charmander? And as you can see, she's got a poison type, a fire type, and she's got electric energy in there too. Um, literally, there's like three or four types. It's it's a bit ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start building up Growlithe here, because Growlithe is going to be excellent. And I'll just keep using Scratch. Hopefully she doesn't knock out the Charmander and I can get ahead on prizes. But we will see. <sighs> Please, at least get one tail. Thank you. One, one head? Yeah, that works. Excellent. Only one head. I can deal with that. Alright. Growlithe. Growlithe. Um, okay, we're gonna take out the Nidoran and get our first prize. Not bad. Ponyta, not bad at all. This Charmander's probably gonna take us out. Yep, it's gonna take us out. Way to waste the plus power. Uh, we'll put Growlithe in there since we've built him up already. Okay, fire energy. Let's go ahead and Let's put this on. Well, let me check something really fast. I forget what energy costs Ponyta has. All right, I'm gonna put Ponyta. Start putting, charging at Ponyta. Ponyta, and put her on the bench. Flare. Okay. So we should have no problem taking out this Charmander unless she starts just pulling fire energies out of somewhere. I hope she doesn't do that. Okay, good. <laughs> why? Why are you wasting your plus powers on ten? power attacks. That's so annoying. Very, very nice. Okay, um... When I have a glut of energy cards, I will evolve to Arcanine, because Arcanine is a beast. An absolute beast. Are you gonna do Ember on me? Okay, thank you. I'm glad you didn't do that. That would have been the smart thing to do. Okay. Ooh, double colorless. Problem is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna put this on the Ponyta here, uh, and we'll just take out the Charmander. I want to put it on the Growlithe and evolve it, but then the thing is, if I don't get it, fire energy cards, I'm kind of screwed. Probably better. Well, no, look at Tongue doesn't really need it. And then she's got the Fighting type. I mean, there's literally so many types. Okay. Um. You know what, I'm just going to risk it and evolve to Arcanine. And we'll take him out with a flamethrower. Very nice. Just need one more fire energy. There we go. This battle's done. Are you really, really going to do a plus power? Well, you're totally dead, so... That was dumb of you. Very nice. And see what I was saying about the 23 energy cards? It does. It, it is a pretty good balance. You, you don't seem to be running too low on energy cards. So yeah, that was an absolute massacre there. Um, there's another pony toss. So that was actually a pretty good deck. I'm happy with that deck. So that was a very quick battle. How could I lose? How? Because your deck sucks. Receive the booster pack. Mystery. Dragonair. Awesome. Jolteon. This is the. Yeah, this Jolteon's pretty decent. Um. Fighting energy, cool. Zapdos, nice. There's Gloom. Gloom, I always have a hard time finding Glooms in this game for some reason. And see here, we got our Oddish back, so it was not a big deal trading. Ooh, and we got this Pikachu. Trading our Oddish to that Gallop there. It's not much of a break if I lose. All right, so let's go ahead and head in here. We'll take care of uh, one more battle in this video, and in the next video, we'll take care of the last battle and the gym leader, club leader battle. So this is Heather. Master Nikki is out right now. Where'd she go? That's a secret. Hmm, let me see. If you defeat three members of the Glass Club, Grass Club, 
I'll tell you where she is. So how about it? Would you like to go Heather? C. Are four prizes okay? I don't have any choice in the matter. Kaleidoscope deck. That's a really cool name for her for this deck. Um, it's it's pretty it's a pretty decent deck. She, this this girl is much better than Brittany. So wow, all I have is a Ponyta. This could be bad. The only problem with Ponyta is that it's not a um, you can't really attack on the first turn. Okay, good. I have something I can do something else with. Let's see. Okay, I have an energy search. That's nice. Um, I'll just I'll just let it go. Hopefully this thing won't poison me or something. Excuse me. Please don't paralyze me. Kid, are you kidding? Really? Well, I do have a scoop up, so if it gets to the point where I'm like at 30 damage and I'm not going to be able to attack, I'll just scoop it up and I'll have Magmar ready. So I'm going to use an energy search and go ahead and grab another fire energy just because I can. Why not? And I can't do anything else because I'm paralyzed, so we'll just end the turn there. Okay. Now what are you going to do? Just another stun spore? Yes, please. Okay. So I should be able to take out this Venonat in one turn now, assuming that she's actually weak to fire. And... Um, I need to make sure that Flame Tail is not going to cause me to discard a card. Okay, good. Attack. Please be weak. Yes, there we go. Another Ponyta. Yeah, Ponytas are pretty good. Um, they're really their only downside is that they do not have any health. None whatsoever. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the Magmar. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sacrifice the Ponyta. It's really not worth scooping it up to lose the two energy cards. So, that's alright. Maybe she'll do something stupid. Nope. I was hoping maybe she'd like transform or something, but she didn't. It's okay. Alright, here we go, Magmar. Let's wreak some havoc. Okay, I've got a switch, and I got a gust of wind. Oh, I never noticed that, that it, those both use pretty much the same graphic, just at a different angle. That's weird. Okay, flamethrower. Alright, I don't need to fl use a flamethrower yet, because that would just waste the fire energy. I'm gonna save it for when I really need it. Alright, Charmeleon, not bad. Let's see. Please let me attack. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna use a, the flamethrower here and take out... Wow. I'm gonna take this Pokemon out real quick, and then only one more to uh, knock out, so not bad. And it's a ditto, of course. Morph! Okay, well, that was a dumb move. Well, alright, there we go. Do I have a fire energy? No, I do not. Um, well. Attack. We're gonna have to hope that Eevee doesn't keep doing tail wag. Okay, well, I pretty much won this battle. That was even faster than Brittany, I think. Alright. Attack. Fire Punch! And there you go. There's, uh, Heather. Well, there's beating Heather, I suppose. I can't believe I could lose. What? What does that even mean? Okay, Item Finder. Nidorino, nice. Seeking, nice. Arcanine, nice. This is a... This was good. Um, Abras are always good to have. Got the other Pikachu. Very, very nice. Uh, Zapdos. Radicate. Kadabras are always good, too. And another Bill. Oh, that's fantastic. I need to practice more. Okay, so, um, before I end this part off, I'm going to modify this deck really quick. I'm gonna go ahead... No. No, I'm not doing that. Let's see. I don't need that many switches, so I'm gonna put in my other Bill. It's worth keeping Bill in there. Okay, and uh, that'll be pretty much it. So before we go, I'm going to show you guys the updated cards that I have. So I'll show you that right now. And um, that'll be it for this part. So in the next part, we'll finish up the grass...
club, and we'll be well on our way to getting more club badges, I suppose. So, see you guys in the next part in a few days.